everyone. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. I'm so happy to be here with all of you again this week. We're going to be taking readings this week, and I wanted to just go over a couple fun Halloween season announcements before we had any callers come in. This time of year, everybody's got so many questions. They love Halloween, but all sorts of conversations come up about ghosts and hauntings and you know, curses and, you know, should we be afraid of our loved one's souls after they leave and what are ghosts and all of that great stuff. So I put together a fun online costume party event for Halloween on October 28th from 12 to 2 p.m. It is called Hocus Pocus Haunted Halloween Readings and Costume Party. And we're going to have prizes for costumes and I'm going to do readings for all of you. And some of those readings might be simply about, hey, I think my house is haunted. How can we take care of this? Or should I be afraid of this and that? And we're going to have spirit come through and answer your questions and help you learn what to do to stay safe, why you don't need to be afraid. And we're going to be really clear and honest about all of that stuff. So it is limited spaces. So if you want to register for that, make sure you go to larkinsreadings.com. That's larkinsreadings.com and you can register. It's really inexpensive and it's going to be for two hours of readings and costume Halloween fun. So I hope you all will join me there. Also check out the Larkin Psychic Medium Spiritual Interpreter page on Facebook. You can get tuned in to all of our events. It looks like we have a caller already today. Uh, let's see, we have Melissa. It looks like from Winnipeg. Welcome, Melissa. How are you tonight? I'm very well, Larkin. How are you this evening? I'm wonderful. Thank you for tuning in. What can I do for wonderful. you this evening? Thank you. Well, I'm hoping you can um, t tune in to my father. He passed away eight weeks ago, and I'm looking for any kind of messages from him. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I'm getting so much love and chills. Um, okay, so immediately I started to, I, I might get sort of random here in the beginning because the frequency will start coming in until it starts to take form. So just bear with okay. me. I might make a few scattered things until we can put the pieces together and he comes through fully. Um, I'm okay. feeling a lot of things uh, sort of from the neck up. Was he hard of hearing? Did he have hearing issues? Uh, not that I know of, no. Okay, because I'm feeling a pressure coming up through my throat and up into my ears. I'm feeling a lot of pressure mm -hmm. there. Um, and let's see. Uh, was this was this sort of something that you actually, your energy, your voice actually sounds really good uh, for this just having been eight weeks? Um, right. Still feeling the pressure coming up kind of through the so if it doesn't make sense at first that's fine something might resonate with you that it does because it might sound like i'm even arguing with you some during the reading i do that a lot people are like oh my gosh you. you're a jerk but it's because i trust what spirit is giving me and they'll keep pushing right. something until it comes through okay. i definitely feel in the throat area um and sometimes that just signifies um an ability or inability to speak or hear you at the end. Okay. Um, were you able to communicate clearly with him at the end? Um, he had, I don't live in the same city as him, and he had passed away before I got there. So, Okay, so that's probably what's coming through. I'm asking him right now. I'm having uh, sort of a mutual, um, a side conversation with him, because okay. oftentimes, a restriction in the throat or the ears, I often have to go in and ask what that means if it's not physical, because often okay. it is an indication that there was a lack of communication at the end, not necessarily meaning mm -hmm. like or psychologically, but it could mean that you weren't there to speak with him. Right. Um, so, okay, so first of all, um, let's see, I see two or three other, do you have two or three siblings? Yes, two. Two siblings, okay. Because it looks like I see, um, yeah, and then your mother is still living, is that correct? 
Yes. Okay. And I'm seeing Whether, there were at least two um, my, people. My, who came my, in the my mom and my dad were separated. Okay. Well, energetically, though, still what I'm seeing is I'm still seeing um, I'm seeing the energies of the three children because that's what he's showing me. You and your two siblings. Okay. And then her energy. So whether they were separated or not, it doesn't matter. There's the love and the relationship there. So I'm seeing that energy there. And it also looks as though there were two people present. So were there two people present and caring for him around the time of his passing? Um, his his longtime common law um, arrived. Um, the, the, he had already passed, though. So. And there's um, one and of then your ambulance showed up. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's um, it just means they were there and they were present at the time around this time surrounding his passing. And then uh, you have at least one sibling that lives near him. Is that right? That was able yes. to come after his passing. Yes. Also, and there's only showing... one that lives by him. Okay, because he's showing me two figures present that were close to him. So that would have been his common yes. law relationship and your other sibling. Okay. So, um, so here, this is interesting. So, so he wants to share with you, um, and I have to interpret the words from the feeling because he's giving it to me as a, more of a feeling right now. He is extremely at peace. Oh, good. And although this might have come as a surprise to you all, this mm -hmm. is this is something that his soul chose. Um, and actually, yeah, so his, his soul chose this timing and also chose, okay. uh, to be alone. Um, okay. so he doesn't want you to feel any, um, despair there or any regret. I'm actually, I'm actually also being shown, um, and I think that you can feel this intuitively. I think you can feel that he is in peace intuitively, at peace intuitively, yeah. sorry. Um, he also had a choice um, to come back while he was passing and decided, okay. no, this, this soul had, had intentionally decided. Um, okay. It sounds as though, he felt that he left uh, with you parted on a good note. Is that true? Okay. Would you agree with that? Yes. yes. In other words, he felt at peace with your relationship. He felt that you two had a good relationship. He felt that you were fine, that you were at peace, that there was nothing else that had or needed to be said in order for you to be able to be okay and move on and be at peace with things. Wonderful. That if, yeah, if you don't agree with that, you can step forward and we can discuss that with him. But that's what he shows me. And so okay. he didn't need to be there. Um, did he pass away of a stroke or heart attack? Um, something similar, very similar to um, an aortic rupture. Okay. Because what I'm feeling is a very quick, um, I'm getting chills this, so this is validating for me. Uh, I got a very mm -hmm. sharp quick kind of pain in my heart um, and like a warmth. And then there really wasn't much time to, uh, it really, there really wasn't um, suffering or even time to really stress or worry. Uh, and then there was sort of, then it was all of a sudden what he's showing me is, um, let's see, they found him laying down. Uh, they're showing me that he was looking at his body from above and okay. it was very cool. And it was like, oh, who is that? Oh, that's me. <laughs> you know, it was like, oh, okay. recognize each other, ourselves often very much. And, and then he was asked, you know, if you really want to come back and stay, um, you can do this. Was told he would probably have continued sorry i'm looking through my third eye that's why i'm not looking at you um sure. would probably have continued heart issues uh moving forward have some health issues moving forward if he were to stay in this world 
So he decided okay. to go ahead and he got a brief look at all of you and your families and very was very happy, peaceful, and joyful to go. Um, okay. His parents there and uh, I'm seeing a sibling. Did he have a sister? He has a sister and a brother both. Okay. All right. Because I was seeing one or two siblings and brother came in and then sister and then brother and then sister. So <laughs> I chose one. Okay. Yeah. So he has, yeah. that's, so they were all four there with him and his angels. Yeah. And it was very quick and easy. And he's completely at peace. Now it looks like we okay. have about a minute left. Do you have anything specific that you want to ask him? Uh, because one of the things he wants to quick add in is that, um, he is going to be there with you and your siblings, with your families. He's going to—he's right there with you guys. I've got 60 seconds. He is going to um, remain close to you. He is trying to let you know that he's there. Um, okay. He is trying to show up with you guys, uh, with you. Um, and he's showing me a lot of wood. So I don't know if he had some things that were made of wood or... Um, He's showing me a lot of wood and he's showing me that um, that everything is going to be all right with all of you. And he is trying to help one of your siblings work through some things now that he's on the other okay. side. He's trying to help them out with their life a little bit. Um, that all makes perfect sense. <laughs> um, my dad right. was a cabinet maker for, for 35 years. He worked with wood every day of his life. So since I've got 20 seconds left, it looks like he was just jumping in trying to give you validation. So he gave you validation yes. today with heart, validation with uh, the siblings, validation with who was there for his parents and with the wood. And I hope that for you, that is enough validation that he was really there with you tonight. And um, we're going to get cut off here. Thank you so much for being my caller tonight, Melissa. Bless you. I'm going to send your father with you. Thank Wonderful. You Thank you very much. Have a great night. You too. Bye, Melissa.